Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And we're delving back into Iceland, actually delving into the bottom of my freezer. Uh, I haven't been in Iceland, I already had it, so let's have one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review! Little Italian kid goes running home, knocks at his front door. <laughs> Mamma mia! Jokes aside, I had to get that Italian joke in because we're having a wood fired stone bait pizza and it's carbonara. Interesting. I've never thought of having carbonara on a pizza. By the way, any Italians watching, or half Italians, or you flew over Italy once when I'm going on holiday, I do apologise, right? I, you know, I haven't made this, I've just purchased it with £2.50 from Iceland. It says a new recipe, ham finished with delicious toppings and an authentic Italian base. We've had these before, so we all know about the storm baked, 24 hour rested dough and all that. But we have got the uh, carbonara, which a lot of people do. Oh, I've done carbonara. I've put this in it. I've put that in it. It's like, no, it's not carbonara then, is it? Uh, we're not here for that. But in this, it has... Uh, Wait, milk, 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 milk. Oh, you can read that. I've read this a few times on the, on the channel. There's no point keep repeating myself, even though I do. There you go, pause it, read it, and weep. There you go. Uh, what does it say? Wood-fired stone-baked carbonara pizza, right? Wood-fired stone-baked pizza base topped with garlic, mascarpone cheese sauce, mozzarella cheese, cooked formed, smoked bacon, and smoked ham. Now, I am not 100% sure what consists of an actual carb carbonara. Right, because I've seen that many variations of it, and I think there's only one recipe that actually is a carbonara. So anyway, like I said, two pound fifty from Iceland. Uh, it's packed with fats, packed with carbohydrates. It's packed with sugars, very little salt. So uh, yeah, it's absolutely caked in fat and heart attack. Anyway, let's get out of here. Have a shufties at it. I'm obviously going to take it out of that file first. Uh, I did forget to mention. Man, it's too tight to mention. Right. Uh, it uh, takes 13 minutes on 200 degrees fan assisted. Uh, 15 minutes at gas mark 7. And it weighs 326 grams. So let's get out of this packet. Oh, it's fine to go from the bottom. It comes out, comes off. Look, not like me, is it? Look at the toppings there. Let's have a close look at this now. You got your toppings there, and on the other side, you got nothing. <laughs> the, the, the toppings are sparse on that. Now you could add, add stuff to it, but if you're going to add stuff to a pizza, you'd, you'd get you get a, a, a just essentials or something or a. a what they call it, uh, stock wells or something for 67 pence. Not a carbonara pizza, stone baked from Iceland for £2.50. You're going to piss around with it, isn't it? So, yeah, there it is. Right? I'll see you now. Fuck. Didn't want to do that, did I? I'll uh, see you in 13 minutes. Right, that has been 13 minutes and this is out of the oven. And it is there. It doesn't smell too bad. It looks very, it's very sparse on toppings. It looks more like a garlic bread with a bit of, what is it, it says smoked bacon or ham just dropped on by accident. You know what I mean? Anyway, it feels crispy. I think it's going to be a decent pizza. But is it going to be worth the £2.50? That is going to be 
Debatable, isn't it? All right, there we are. It's cut. So let's get up here. See, I slide it down my gizzard. There it is, brothers and sisters. Some of that ham or bacon on top looks raw. It's been in there, I said 13 minutes, been in there for like 14 minutes. Been in there a lot, bit longer. That was raw. Raw bacon, lovely. Great start, isn't it? What club we You know what? That is chewy as hell. The base, the base is chewy. I'm not about the crust. The crust is it? Crust is crispy. The base is chewy. It's soggy. The bacon is raw on there, and it just tastes generally weird. Oh well. It'll make a turd. Before I slag that off for taste, I can slag it off because the bacon on there, the smoky bacon as I suppose it was, was raw. Uh, price. £2.50 is pretty cheap considering what you pay in a restaurant or a pizza place or, or a Domino's or a Pizza Hut. It's, it, you know, it's cheap as chips. Not as cheap as the cheap ones you can get actually in Asda, uh, Tesco's, Aldi, Lidl as well. Uh, you know, Morrison's. You know what I mean? All these big supermarkets, you can get you can get a decent pizza for under a quid. That was £2.50. But before I do slag the taste off, I didn't like that. I don't like the taste of that. Kieran's having a nissy fit in the living room right on the computer. Sonic the Hedgehog doing his heading again. Uh, school holidays. You know what I mean? I've not even off a week yet and I've lost, I'm losing my... You know. I don't think I've actually, in my life, entire life, actually had a carbonara. I can't remember the last time I had one, if I had one. So I don't even know what a carbonara tastes like, or if that tastes like carbonara. If it does taste like carbonara, then I'm not going to like it. So I can't slag it off for taste, because I mean, obviously, it, it's my opinion, isn't it? It's my opinion, just because I don't like it, don't mean you're not going to like it. Because the butcher fucking hated it. It must be shit. No, it's just I don't like it, right? And that's all we're here for, my opinion. And you know what, you might share my opinion. You might not share my opinion, because it's shit. I don't like it. If you like this, press like. <laughs> Comment. Share it on your social media. And subscribe. <laughs> I become a family member of hashtag Chim 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 B, where I fucking love you. Right, it's not often I do this at the end of a video. Right, finished filming. Thought, do you know what? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try this pizza again. And I don't know what it was. I must have got a rogue slice. The first slice I had, because I only tried one slice on camera. And honest to God, the second slice I had, it tasted of garlic. The first slice didn't. The second slice I had, and and a sub, you know, and after that, I had a few slices after that. Lou had some, she loved it. Kevin liked it. Connor liked it. And uh, yeah, gotta change my mind. Change my mind on that review. I did like it in the end. That I don't I don't know what was up with that slice. That first slice I had, but I don't know. It must have had nothing on it. I don't know what it was. But the second slice after that was garlicky, creamy, tasted completely different. So yeah, I've got to correct myself there. That pizza actually was pretty decent.